Hey guys, this is Lauren Productions, aka Nana4673, and I'm back in Cinder's Part 3. Let's just get along with this. Yes. I'm intrigued to know that her to know what sort of man would do something so hero heretic. Heroic. 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 <laughs> and yet remain so emotionless about the whole thing. Looks like the child has been re reunited with his mother. What a relief. Uh oh, I'm running late. Now I better. Late now, I better go see Tobias right away. Right away. Right away. Tobias' store is near. is neat and well organized as usual. From the looks of things, he's been doing well for himself. I guess he was lucky with those thieves didn't decide to rob this place instead of the. of one of those poor merchants at the market. Hey, welcome, Sanders. Is everything alright? You seem a bit pale. Hello, Tobias. You are not bad at all. Just, I, I've just witnessed a terrible scene in the market. A couple of brig I didn't get a voice for him anyway. A couple of brigands kidnapped, kidnapped the child I can't talk today and barricaded themselves in one of the houses. Heavens! Heavens! <laughs> Heavens! Someone call the guard? Luckily, the captain was nearby and resolved the situation quickly with his sword. As messy, it may, as messy it may, as it may seem, that is his job. Glad to hear everyone's alright. Not everyone. He killed all those men. I don't know how to feel about it. You always had a gentle heart, Cinders. Have you missed it? Well, it's been too long since you last stopped by, that's for sure. How have you been? Much the same, Camosa works me to the bone every day, and there are times when I wish I could just disappear. But I manage, and there are days that make me happy, like today. So I'm so glad to see you again, Tobias, and it looks like your shop is flourishing. It does well enough. It does well enough. I hope you know that you can come speak to me at any time you want. Yes. Oh, I could never guess that was Tobias. We used to spend so much time together when we were teenagers. Now that we're adults, it seems that we hardly ever catch a glimpse of each other. It's a really shame. It's really a shame. You're right, it feels like childhood friendships disappear once you mature. It's hard to keep them alive sometimes, even if you had the best of intentions. <laughs> such true state such a true statement. But I assume you don't didn't come here just to remember the old days. Sadly, no. I'm on a, I'm on a rant, a rant for Camosa. I'm here to pay you for, well, whatever she asked for. She's been very secretive about the whole thing. Oh, that. That. Now I'm even more curious about this around. Probably won't tell us, but hey, what's up? So, what exactly did Camosa tell you to do? Ask you to do anyway? It sounds mysterious. I am afraid I can't tell you. Why not? Well, I promised Camosa that I wouldn't tell anyone and I would like to keep my word. Uh, also, it's basic business eth eth ethics, Cinders. I understand. Sure. I understand. I, you gave your word. I shouldn't force you to break it, even though Cam Camosa doesn't deserve such fair treatment. I'm glad you understand, Cinders. I really wish I could tell you, but keeping the job a secret was a part of our agreement. My reputation as a merchant is at stake here, after all. Don't worry, Tobias. I won't do anything to make you uh, ruin your reputation. Anyway, Camosa said that I was supposed to give you some money for this job. That's true, but I'm not supposed. To. But I'm surprised she would have sent you to pay for it. She said something about having, not having a choice. How much does how much does he owe you? Mm, around two hundred sovereigns, I'd say. Just an estimate. That means Camosa and Tobias hasn't agreed on a uh, set price yet. If I could ne negotiate a discount, I might get might get on Camosa's good side, good graces, or just get some money for myself. Appeal to friendship. Be seductive, okay, haggle or let him have the full price. Tobias seems like a fair man, he uh, seems friendly and uh, 
lots of red haired people must stick together, so. 200? You get 200. I've never been good at all that other stuff. Well, I have precisely 200 serenes, so. Super ring, blah. So I. So I suppose that's perfect. Thank you. I confess, I'm glad Commander sent you. She would have been undoubtedly, she would have undoubtedly tried to hack the price down. Oh, was I supposed to hack her with you? It's not a bad thing that I didn't visit. Of course, it's not a bad thing. It's to show how different you are from Commander. You are a very selfless person. That's a rare and beautiful trait these days. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that. I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad that Commander Kim sent you. It was a plus. Pleasure to do business with you, and I'm happy that I got to see you again. Likewise, I really do miss seeing you, Tobias. I hope you come again soon. I'll do my best. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it? Please tell Camol Camosa that Camosa. I cannot talk. Ugh. Please tell Camosa that I'll fulfill my part of the deal soon, and she should expect my rep representative to come by sometimes tonight. Sure, I'll let her know. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, I had no idea that you have your repres representative, the, the reprint. I know what the word is, I know what it means, I just, and I know how it's pronounced, but I cannot do it uh, nowadays. It comes with a trade, I guess. Start throwing coin around, and suddenly you find yourself surrounded with people eager to run errands for, errand, errands for you. Coin, you say? And I thought yeah, I had more. It had more to do with your magnetic personality. I used to be magnetic, but it made trading in metal wares too much risky for me, so I stopped. Haha. <laughs> Hope people do tend to underestimate the pain caused by fast flying cutlery. There was a time in my life where I was forced to eat with my hands, but I prefer not to speak about it. <laughs> I've missed that talk, Tobias. Me too, Sanders. I hope I'll see you again soon. I hope so too. Take care, friend. Well, that went surprisingly well. I really missed the old days when Tobias and I played together. I'm so glad that I could see him again. Well, I don't have any more reason to stick around, so I suppose I should go back now. Ah, uh, why not go to the forest and check out those fairies? Maybe I should stop by the forest before I return home to Kimosa and my stepsisters. It might be nice to have a little break after all. I wonder if the gift I left at the lake is still here. It's it's probably silly to think that fairies took it, but I'm curious. Go take it. I'm curious too. Oh, the river flower that I w was gone. Doubt it was blown away by the wind or taken by a wild animal. Yeah, because there was like a fox or something came and like, ooh, flowers, let's take it. <laughs> but father probably would have told me that the fairies pre accepted it as a gift. I think I prefer to believe father's version over mine. It's growing late though. I should return home. Oh, stop doing that. Nah. There we go. The journey back to my house was, was too much short. I'm not looking forward to facing Kimosa and all my sisters again. At least I got a rare reprieve from their insults today. I wish it had lasted longer. I'm terribly late. Kimosa uh, told me to hurry back and it was ne nearly nightfall so I'm sure he'll skin me alive. Cinders, do you have any idea what time it is, you useless girl? Where have you been all this time? Let's just be in a good side for now. I apologize, there was a lot of commotion in town, and I sort of got caught up in... Enough of your excuses, they make you look so pathetic. If you choose to ignore my orders, at the very least have the pride to stand by your decision instead of simpering like that. The child you once were what is gone. You you uh, must be a woman now. Have more pride in yourself. Otherwise you're nothing more than a lazy and useless girl. 
At least you managed to finish the task appointed you the way. Take little silver from that. Is it too much to hope that you managed to keep up some of the money I gave you? Well, he said the price was 200 gold pieces, so that's what I paid him. Why am I not surprised? I suppose it is fool it is foolishness to accept expect more from a girl as disjointed from reality as you. What are you talking about? You never take the first offer. Anyone who conducts business, no, anyone in their right mind knows that. But Tobias is my friend, he would not... Enough, I'm not interested in your excuses. What a disaster, you're more useless than I could have ever imagined. If I stopped feeding you, it would be exactly what you deserve. But I suppose I would be arrested for petty crime if I did that. But I... Silence, get out of my sight. Just make... Just looking at you makes me ill. You will go to your room and you will stay there until you are summoned, is that clear? Yes. It's not the worst. You can be in our room. Oh, meanwhile. My lord, I've been told you wanted to see me. I have been informed of the hostage situations at the marketplace today. I also heard that you handled the situation rather admirably. For that I commend you. Thank you, my lord, but the truth is I regret having to kill so many men. They couldn't even put up a fight. Such is the burden of those in positions of power. We must make a diff we must make difficult decisions for the sake of sake of protecting others I can't talk. It's not a choice, but a duty. And you performed your duty to perfection. You honor me with your word honor me with your words, my lord. You deserve it. After all, my father, your king, has always spoken well of you, and I know he did, he even considered you a friend. The king spoke so, I am honored by such confidence. Truly? What do you think of my father? How was it to serve under him? The king was a wise, skillful, and strong leader. I would have followed him anywhere. That is where what I have heard from everyone who knew him. Already a fading compa comparison. My prince. I have not yet to be crowned as father's last wish yet. Was that I should find a wife first. No doubt he wished, wished that I find someone capable of ruling by my side. Of course, every noble in the land is eagerly pushing the an eligible daughter towards me. But I need a strong woman I can rely on. A queen who can support my agenda, no matter how hard it's going to be. <laughs> I am a simple warrior, my lord. I know very little of romance and politics. Okay. Nonsense. My father trusted you in more. I'm sorry, I was spacing out. My father trusted you more in matters than war, and I too am willing to do that. Please advise me, not as the captain of the guard, but as my friend. But I confess, even my own palace is not a safe place for discussing such delicate matters. The wars of years, and I would not wish for my search, search for a wife to become any more public than it already is. Might we go hunting together tomorrow morning? I think it would, we would find the forest a safer place for a discussion. Such an action is dangerous, my lord, but if something were to happen to you, there is no one to succeed you on the throne. Is that so? I cannot imagine anything safer than having the famous captain of the guard by my side. If, it's, if that's what, that is what you wish, my lord. That is indeed what I wish. You can go now, friend. My prince. Good old Perun, the brave captain of the royal guard, first sword of the kingdom, veteran of the Rene War, reduced to killing camel fox and guardian. Guarding market stalls, not yet aware of how obsolete his role is. I have to end the episode here. Damn it! I'll see you in the next one. Bye.